welcome back for another video. I thought I would do a little face introduction to this one. Oop, you can see Bob Ross back there, Funko Bob Ross. <laughs> Let me shift <laughs> so he doesn't take the limelight because I am nowhere near an artist like Bob Ross. But I'm here for a fun video because the wonderful people at Arteza, Arteza have sent me this. It is the 60 count gouache set. They sent me a, a little starter pack, <laughs> starter pack that has the 60 count of gouache. They also included in this two of their mixed media sheets. This is their premium mixed media sheet media pad that is coil bound. I love the coil bound because it you know keeps all of your practice and sketches together. Um, and this is nine by 12. Uh, paper size and it is 110 pound or 180 GSM. So it's really good for um, acrylics, gouache, watercolor, watercolor pencils, pencils, um, like markers do really well with this. If you've got like alcohol markers or even like water-based markers. Um, so there's this. And then they also included this cute little tray. Um, you can see it has three sections and you can use it to store uh, like if you've got any pens or um, look at that. Oh, that's a short pen. <laughs> I should put it in a smaller or your brushes or um, if you have any of the watercolor pencils or colored pencils or the different real brush pens or the twee markers. Um, they would fit perfectly in here, and it has a little handle, and um, it is an adorable little thing, which I'm going to put, fill it with some things, and put it on my little rest cart, so I always have this, and I can just grab it, and, you know, set it on my table, and get ready to go. So, what we're going to do is, if you look at, there's 60... I hope you can see that. I can't see because it's so big. There's 60 colors here. Um, and it's almost every color you could possibly want, I think. Titanium white. White. So two different types of white. Through your yellows, your oranges, your purples, your greens. There's a large number of greens here. And over here, there's a large number of blues and purples. And look at all the pretty oranges, yellows, and reds. Um, and one thing that is nice to note that the num the majority of the numbers and the names of all of the Arteza products, they're in the process of getting them to, uh, like, line up. So, like, um, if you are using A505, which is ultramarine blue, I just grabbed that because I use that for the sky and watercolor with other things, um, that same number in the watercolor pencil, in the watercolors, in the markers will all be the same number. So that is one thing that is really nice. But let me show you quickly here. They come in these little trays. So, and there's, uh, since there's 60 and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, there's a total of 10 of these trays and they're kind of grouped by like color like this one has uh, cerulean blue stone blue uh, and then it's starting to get into the greens so they they it's pretty amazing that like the color sets that they have and they are in order um because this is the the first one from the one of the sides it has Titanium white, white, uh, pale yellow, Naples yellow, lemon yellow, mid yellow. That would be probably like a cadmium yellow, mid or light. And that's the same order that we have here for those colors. So they're all in order by tray. Um, I know there are lots of other gouaches out there. I've never played with gouache. There's um, a, a real popular set 
is that jelly gouache set. And um, I've thought of those, but I was kind of afraid of them because number one, it's it's a flat tray that has like, like a jello cup or a pudding cup that you peel the lid off and then you have all of this gouache that's just open and I am a klutz. So I would most likely drop that. So I like the fact that these are in tubes and I can pull out whatever color I want to use. So I have had something on hand that I haven't used. It's just some no-name palette. It's, um, I think it's a watercolor palette. I got it because I saw someone on YouTube, imagine that, using one of these, um, you know, where you use tube paints. You put the tube paint in here, just a, like a, a dot of it, and then refill it when, you know, you need to. So that way you're not airing all of your paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put, I think this has, it has 12 slots here, 12 slots here, and then four. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some of the some of my favorite looking colors. I'm gonna swatch all of these. I'm gonna swatch them in this big boy right here, this thick book here, 60 pages of 110 pound paper. Um, I'm gonna swatch them in there. And then from that swatch, I'm gonna put a little bit of my favorite colors in here. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a uh, play with them because you can add water to them to extend their life or to make them thinner. Um, so this will be my first time playing with gouache paints and I am really excited to give these a try. So stick around and I'll show you a little bit more from a top-down view. Okay, see you soon. Hi everybody, I have a few items here with a top-down view so you can see. Uh, the first thing here is the pad of paper that was sent. It is Arteza's Acid-Free Spiral Bound. It says ideal for wet and dry media. 60 sheets, so that would be 120 front and back. Mixed media sheets and it's premium. And you'll see down here it's nine by 12 and it's 110 pounds or 180 GSM. You can see it is a thick book and this right here is one piece of paper. The front of it is textured like a cold press paper and then the back side of it is smooth. It's, it's nice paper. It's the same paper that I've been using in, in this pad. And I've been using watercolors. That's watercolor. Watercolor pencils. Watercolor. That's, that's pencils. That's ink. And you'll see it, it doesn't bleed through. These are all. That's watercolors as well. These here are like Tombow markers and they don't bleed through at all either. Colored pencils. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's really good paper. And I like these type of spiral bound sketchbooks because I don't feel very precious with them and I, I just, you know, do whatever I want in them and, and, and play around and have lots of fun. But I wanted to show you how the gouache came in the box. So you can see these are the 60 colors from titanium white all the way down to pearl gray. There are a few metallics. Um, there's pearl gray, silver, Pearl Sage Green, Pearl Emerald, Pearl Cerulean Blue, Pearl Lavender, Pearl Bubblegum, Pearl Coral, and then of course, Bronze, Pearl Apricot Gold, Pearl White Rose. I think those are all the, the pearls. They've got um, 
what's that stuff in it? Mica that makes it all nice and shiny, kind of like their acrylic paints. They've got metallic acrylic paints. And um, those pearl ones are the, the ones that are like that. But when you take off the top of the box, you'll see you have your colors. And I'm gonna turn this around because if you, oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Am I in the center of the screen now? <laughs> um, like if you look here, you've got this order. Titanium white, white, pale yellow, Naples yellow, lemon yellow, and mid yellow. Titanium white, white, pale yellow, Naples yellow, lemon yellow, mid yellow. And then underneath that <clears throat> is another tray which continues uh, bumblebee yellow, yellow ochre, light apricot, and so on. And you see it continues down the list. So, um, let me grab one of these just so you can see what they look like. We'll grab cerulean, oh wait, they've got sap green, yes. Here's sap green right here. One of my favorite colors. And Let me get a pad of paper. We'll just do that right here. I just have some cheap, like these are old um, Jane Davenport brushes from a lifetime ago. Because I, I wasn't sure, I didn't want to ruin any like good brushes. And I'm, I'm not sure what type of brush I need. But I'm just going to grab just... A little bit of paint, Let's see, and this is just sap green, and we're gonna just kind of. This is my first swatch <laughs> with these. And since it is gouache, you can water activate it. And that's a really pretty color. I don't know if I'd call it sap green. Of course, oh, I, I watered it down. But it's, it's a very pretty color. So you can spread it quite thin. We might have a cat dive bomb us. So if you like the way acrylic paint dries, but like watercolor, oh, there's still a little bit of paint on that side. That's fine. Look. So I'll get just one more little dab. Kitty's trying to jump up on the table. I'm sorry about that. So here's full strength. So full strength, <laughs> which is quite, this brush doesn't work too bad for this. And that's with it being watered out. So I'm going to have some fun playing with these. I'm going to, on a different page, I'm going to do, I'm going to swatch all of the colors. And then we're going to play and have some fun. Okay, I'll see you in a little bit.
I haven't finished all of the swatches. I've gone through olive green. And this is more than half of the paints, except I didn't do the titanium white and the white because they wouldn't show up on my paper. This is the Arteza mixed media paper, and this is just another generic brand of mixed media paper. I wanted to see how they worked on both, and I like the Arteza better because it's texture and it's a heavier pound than this. But so far, look at all the beautiful colors. I watered this one down because it is incredibly, incredibly dark. This color here is called Violet, and I just wanted to see what it looked like with a little bit of water. Here's some beautiful yellows, some really nice oranges, and that pink is really popping. It's really pretty. Here are just some of them, and I'm gonna finish them up. Okay, I've swatched all 60 colors minus two, the two whites. And this is what they look like. All the way from, I think it's called pale yellow all the way down to the pearls. And you'll see that there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. There's 12 pearls, which means that they're kind of, it's hard to see, but see how, especially with this bronze and gold, they have a bit of mica in them. Hi everybody, I wanted to show you the palette that I'm using and what colors I'm going to be using for uh, the mushroom painting. I, I have it set up. I've got my reds here, my yellows and like neutrals here, my greens, I got a white, and my blues. I have sky blue, ultramarine blue, white, olive green, sage green, sap green, yellow ochre, pale yellow, light brown, scarlet red, crimson red. So these are the colors that I'm going to be using to paint the mushrooms. The brush I'm going to be using is an Arteza aqua brush. It is, um, if I can get it, it's a kind of a medium brush. Um, but the reason I'm using it is I, I don't want to damage my really fine brushes because in case I forget to clean my brush, at least I know this is an aqua brush that I've had for like five years, <laughs> four or five years, so I know it'll, it'll be okay. So here's the little sketch that I did. There's three different mushrooms and some leaves and... <laughs>
I've finished with the gouache on my palette. Oh. I have this set of Arteza 120 colored pencils. I have had these for, gosh, since around 2019, 2020, and I've taken some of them out. And what I did was I took a little pen pouch and I created my own sort of color palette. I pulled out these, oh, 40 or so 
colors <laughs> that I, I think make a great palette out of the 120 set. Um, and it's different than their smaller sets. So I, I, I really like the, the extra variety. Got some yellows and oranges and reds and browns, some greens, some blues and purples, and a couple of neutrals here. But what we're going to do is because I'm, this is my first time ever using gouache, and I, I'm really enjoying playing with the gouache, and I'm, I'm gonna have some lots of fun working with it in the future. But, um, so I picked out a couple of colors. I picked out Sienna Brown, Passion Fruit Red, Venetian Red, it's a really pretty color, Dark Chocolate Brown, Camel brown, I've got a raw umber, is burnt ochre. Here's turmeric yellow. Here's yellow ochre. Called cream, which I'm gonna go over the white and add some more white specks for those topped mushrooms. And then I've got some greens here. I've got moss green, basil or basil green, and olive green. So I'm gonna go in and touch up some of the mushrooms and
mushroom patch uh, from a few items that were sent to me this week by Arteza. This is the 60 piece color set of the gouache and this is one of their notebook pads of paper. You can see I brought in just a few extra things. I used a handful of the gouache and I used a handful of the Arteza colored pencils along with their um, aqua brush. And here's my little piece of work. Um, if you would like to take a look at the gouache, the pencils, the brushes, or anything by Arteza, if you go to their webpage, uh, arteza.com, I'll have it all linked in the little box down below. And if you type in the code john-rush1, you will get 10% off anything you purchase from Arteza. I do, that's a code that they've provided for you. I do not get any sort of a kickback. Uh, one thing I did make note of when I was looking at Amazon, you can get Arteza on Amazon as well. Um, but one thing I noticed is the prices were cheaper on Arteza's webpage than they were on Amazon. Um, and then with the 10% discount as well, uh, you know, you can get yourself to try some things. Try a set of pencils, try some gouache. If you don't like those things and you like acrylics, try acrylics. Um, if you need a new set of brushes, you know, give yourself, um, you know, a little discount if you so choose to. These gouache were sent to me by Arteza. I did not pay for them. This is the first time I've ever used gouache and I'm really happy with them. I know, um, there are other, oops, it's not try. I know that there are other brands out there, um, but for a first set, I mean, there's 60 colors. There's so, so, so many that uh, you can use. There's even all these pearl ones over here. Thank you so much for joining me in my um, 
first ever play with gouache. Um, I'm I'm really excited and I'm I'm looking forward to doing some more paintings with you with my gouache. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Uh, if there's any information you need, look in the little box down below, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.